Face lift. Face fucked. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's my real skin. I thought that would be like a fun thing to do. What do you think is when you're And best? I want to put a smile on people's faces. Yeah. I want to go like... FDA approved Lizzo makes you feel good about your weight. And it costs 90% less than Ozempic. I've lowered my standards and my expectations. All right, guys, you said you give me a pass. Get back. Boy, well, you're in the way. But the silver lining of this cloud, of course, is uh, is that it brought us to a uh, a new level in our relationship. It's a video. In life, there are bit, there are snitches, but there's nothing as good as witches. It is known that Kylie Jenner takes a lot of pride and effort in her appearance and fashion, especially for any kind of event. But this costume did not hit the mark. In 2015, Kylie dressed up as an apparent Eskimo, or at least that is what she said in her Instagram caption. Not only is the word Eskimo considered a slur that is highly offensive, but many were also upset because Inuit and Alaska natives are real people, not costumes. So Kylie's fans were not impressed by the costume and the only publicity she was getting was very negative. After being slammed with all the negativity, Kylie was quick to change her Instagram caption to Snow Princess instead. But by the time she changed the caption, the damage was already done and many people were already very upset with her initial costume. You can't just change the caption after you already did the costume. <laughs> Snow princess! <laughs> it's all she could come up with. Moving along at number nine is Heidi Klum. The former model is known for her eccentric costumes every year and showing up to wow the crowd. And she usually does. I'm usually very impressed with her costumes. But her costume in 2008 was not a hit and more of a miss. This is because the celebrity dressed as Kali, the Hindu goddess of destruction. I hope I said that right. The costume consisted of her whole body being painted blue, a black wig, and a belt made of severed heads and hands. It was quite the sight. Though the celebrity was met with a ton of backlash as it was quite offensive to those who actually practice the religion. After her costume debut, the Hindu American leaders demanded an apology from Heidi with the claim that the goddess in the religion is to be worshipped in sacred temples, not for parties or for a publicity stunt. The former model responded saying that her assistant thought of the costume and that she gave her the okay to wear it. So she basically threw her assistant under the bus. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not sure what's worse, her costume or her response to the criticism, like putting blame. I'm not letting anyone tell me what's okay to wear. You get the final say, Heidi. Moving along to number eight is Ashley Tisdale. The family-friendly Disney star found her acting success in the high school musical movies. That being said, she stirred up quite a bit of controversy when she appeared at Vanessa Hudgens' 2016 party in a Day of the Dead inspired look. Let's be clear, Day of the Dead and Halloween are not the same, and the Day of the Dead is a Mexican celebration to honor deceased relatives. Therefore, fans slammed Ashley for her costume being extremely racist and offensive to some people. Her costume got her accused of appropriating Mexican culture and sexualizing their event. Ashley's husband would later go on to defend his wife, um, but the damage was already done. So his defense didn't work. While it was cute, it didn't work. Swiping through the numbers on this countdown at number seven is Paris Hilton. Being in the headlines for Paris was a good thing, usually, usually it is, up until the negativity from her 2010 Halloween costume skyrocketed. Paris found herself at a Halloween party at the Playboy Mansion, dressed up as she stated, a Native American. The costume featured a headdress, feathers, beads, and an animal skin bikini. Many were quick to call her out with the highly offensive costume, but Paris didn't seem to care. You would think from all the negative backlash and disrespect that people would stay far away away from a costume like that, especially after her backlash. But that would not be the case for Paris's own sister, Nikki Hilton. As five years after her sister's inappropriate and controversial costume, Nikki decided to dress up in the exact same one. Seems like the Hilton sisters did not learn their lesson the first time around. You can probably assume that this again was met with a lot of backlash in the media when Nikki wore it, especially since her sister already made that mistake in the first place. Moving up the chart at number six, we have Hilary Duff and her then boyfriend, Jason Walsh. 
During the celebrity's time on Disney, Hillary had to keep a very squeaky clean image, but after transitioning out of her Disney stardom, she was able to make decisions for herself. But this costume decision should not have been worn out in public, as in 2016, the couple costume of choice for them was a pilgrim and a native chief. As soon as the pictures of the two started circling on social media, a lot of people were upset. Not only is the costume offensive in itself, but this was at the time that there were protests against the Dakota Access Pipeline that would go through sacred grounds. So everything that could have been wrong with this costume was wrong. Hillary eventually took to Twitter to apologize though for her couple's costume and said that she was deeply sorry to people that she offended and that she did not properly think it through. So she took accountability and she apologized. So stands for something, right? Up next at number five, halfway through, we have Kate Hudson. The American actress and author is an award winner and a star in some of the most romantic rom-coms as of uh, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, if you remember that one, and Bride Wars. I love How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. Random fact, you're gonna be like, what the hell? I based my prom dress off her yellow dress in that movie. Anyways. <laughs> No one cares, just thought I'd throw it out there. But Kate shocked many people for her costume in 2014 as Dr. Luke. The distasteful costume featured the singer in scrubs and a name tag that reads, Dr. Luke, gynecology department. But the person she was dressing up as was not a doctor. She was imitating Dr. Luke, the music producer that abused Kesha over a period of 10 years. At the time, Luke and Kesha were in the middle of their lawsuit, so the costume was very off-putting to fans and just seemed like an awful decision. The media took this by storm and criticized her costume as it was very inappropriate for the time and in general. It's possible though that her intentions for the costume were good to try and show her support for Kesha. However, if that was truly her intention, there are just better ways of showing your support. Taking our next spot at number four, we have the American actor Colton Haynes. The celebrity is known for his outrageous and over the top Halloween costumes, but this one was not a fan favorite. For obvious reasons. Back in 2011, the actor wore blackface when dressing up as Kanye West and he painted his whole body for the costume. The intention of going as Kanye West was not the problem, it was covering his whole body in dark brown paint. You would think Colton would learn from his past mistakes of controversial Halloween costumes, but that would not be the case. The following year, the actor dressed in blackface for a second time and painted his body for a Gandhi costume. Colton has since apologized for his controversial costumes and says that he was unaware that he was offending people with them <laughs> and that it wasn't his intention. Making the very same mistake twice, like two years in a row, is pretty bad and his career has just never been the same since then to be honest. But. I wonder why. Moving to our top three spots, at number three is the EDM duo, The Chainsmokers. The music duo has produced Billboard topping chart songs with artists like Justin Bieber, Coldplay, and Halsey. But the very popular musicians were met with backlash in 2014 after their, this is what it was called, Ebrola costume. Yes, you heard that right, Ebrola. I will explain. After performing at a university, the duo made their way to a fraternity after party where they showed up in a pretty controversial costume. The costume mocked the deadly disease Ebola, Ebola, which at the time was a great epidemic in West Africa that had killed more than 5,000 people by that point. It's easy to say that their costume of a hazmat suit and fake mustaches of imitating health workers was pretty tone deaf during that time. Looking back on this controversy now in 2021, after going through a pandemic for the past two years, I don't think this costume would fly with anyone. <laughs> I'm pretty sure people did stuff though in 2020 regarding the COVID costume thing. Quickly taking over number two, we have Chris Brown. We all know that Chris is not new to controversial headlines and negative media coverage for good reasoning. But this incident would be one of the worst ones. In 2012, the singer showed up to a party hosted by Rihanna as a member of the Taliban. This costume shocked everyone on social media, especially because before the party, Chris tweeted a photo of himself and his friends dressed up with the caption, ain't nobody effing with my click. Don't get me wrong, it's not totally surprising that Chris would do other offensive things like this. 
Um, but it doesn't justify the blatant racism that was his costume. Fans of his were outraged, and to make matters worse, in an interview when he was questioned about the costume, instead of apologizing, he remorsefully said, it's effing Halloween, get over it. Classy man, he's single isn't he? I'm not surprised. Last but certainly not least, the number one spot on this countdown is going to Julianne Huff. This might not come as a surprise because in 2013, when Julianne dressed up in this costume, everyone on social media was talking about it for just how bad it is. People still talk about it. I mean, here I am. The Dancing with the Stars champion went out as the orange is the new black character, Crazy Eyes. Her costume was in very bad taste though and landed her in major controversial headlines as the costume was blackface. Julianne and her friends all appeared to have gone as the cast of the show, but none of them seemed to think that Julianne's portrayal was offensive at the time that they were getting ready. Apparently, even actress Isla Fisher went up to Julianne at a party demanding that she go to the bathroom and wipe the makeup off her face. The actress who actually played the character on the show even talked about the controversy by saying the whole costume was a very unfortunate situation. After the incident, the backlash from the costume was so intense that Julianne came out with a statement saying that it was never her intention to be disrespectful and that she realizes now that her costume hurt and offended people and the statement was followed with her apologizing. Thank God. At number 10, we have Sean White as Simple Jack. Three-time Olympic champion Sean White had to apologize to the Special Olympic Committee after he received backlash over his choice of Halloween costumes back in 2018 when the American snowboarder posted a photo of himself dressed up as Simple Jack. Now, Simple Jack is a disabled character played by Ben Stiller in the 2008 movie Tropic Thunder. At the time, Tropic Thunder was condemned for its disrespectful portrayal of Simple Jack's character. The Special Olympic chair board would come out to say that they were truly disappointed that the Olympian would choose this costume, which is so offensive and caused so much pain. Sean would later come out to say that he owed everybody in the Special Olympic community an apology for his poor choice of Halloween costumes the other night. It was a last minute decision and it was a wrong one. The Special Olympics are right to call me out on it. They do great work supporting many tremendous athletes and I'm so sorry for being so insensitive. Lesson learned. Now, disabilities are not a joke or a punchline, so you should definitely reconsider your costume before you end up discriminating the community. At number five, we have Pamela Anderson as a Native American. I don't know what's more outrageous, the fact that Pamela Anderson thought it was okay to dress as a Native American or the fact that she tried to justify her actions with it. When Pamela posted to her Instagram wearing a headdress, which is typically worn by male leaders for ceremonial purposes, Pamela's costume would spark some major criticism by people who accused the former Baywatch star of being racially insensitive. One user would even call out Pamela by tweeting, it's not hard to just dress as thousands of other non-harmful things, but I guess that ship has sailed at this point. Anderson would then refuse to comment on the controversy, however, she would tweet a link that was titled The Illogic of Cultural Appropriation. We all know that was uncalled for and the star should have known better. And number four, we have Ashley Benson as a lion. So in 2015, Ashley Benson decided to dress up as a lion, however, what could have been such a cute costume was quickly met with controversy when she captioned the pic and made a reference to the slain Cecile the lion. Cecile was a beautiful male lion that made headlines that summer after he was slain in Zimbabwe by a Minnesota dentist. After seven users would call out Ashley's caption offensive and would tell her that it was just a bad taste decision for the star, she would then change her caption to just say lion. Now Ashley did issue an apology and said, yesterday's post was a poor taste and I absolutely regret all of the hurt that the photo caused. The caption that was posted was incorrect and my costume was not Cecile the Lion. She then tried to say that it was her management team that handles her post and that she had them change it immediately. But do we actually believe that it was her management team or do we think it was her? Let me know in the comments below. And number two, we have Colton Hines. Colton is notorious for going all out for his Halloween costumes. However, in 2011, Colton thought it'd be cute to wear a long gold chain, black sweatsuit, and even gold rim glasses completed with blackface so he could be Kanye West for Halloween. And then the next year, he would be pictured as Gandhi. Colton would come out to say in a streaming video that he's gotten in trouble for a few of his costumes in the past and he wasn't aware that it offended people and it was never his intention at all, that he wanted to apologize now. At number one, we have Kim Kardashian as Aliyah. Last weekend, Kim Kardashian didn't hold back when it came to her Halloween costume. The reality star has pulled off all the stops by opting to dress not as one, but three different music icons. However, one of those 
icon to be a late R&B artist, Alaya. In a video later posted to Kim's Twitter, she would even caption the video as baby girl Alaya. Now, in the past, Kim has come under fire for displaying a lack of sound judgment when it comes to race, and it's no lie that the Kardashian-Jenner clan has a laundry list when it comes to controversial and appropriation offenses. So it came to no surprise that Kim's costume would cause a stir. One person would even go tweet, legend or not, Alaya is a black woman and you're not. It's offensive and you just shouldn't push its limits. Kim has yet to release an apology, but when it comes to this family, don't hold your breath because they always refuse to talk about their culture appropriation offenses. And at number six, Tia Mori. Tia Maori decided to dress up as a Japanese geisha for her 2013 Halloween party. And people online were not happy. In the comments of her Instagram photo, the reviews were pretty mixed, with some people defending her, while others were calling her out for cultural appropriation. With people writing things like, quote, my race and the races of others are not a costume for a cheesy holiday. And quote, please do some research on cultural appropriation. Geisha costumes are not cool, girl. And at number two, Snooki. Snooki is best known from her Jersey Shore days when her outrageous antics and big personality catapulted her to fame. But since Snooki started out as a regular girl and not a celebrity, it makes sense that she would have a big miss in the Halloween costume department. And that's exactly what happened in 2010 when Snooki decided to dress up as a girl on a milk carton by wearing a milk carton on her face with a hole cut out and with the words missing plastered above it. And if you didn't already know, milk cartons were a popular way to publicize that a child was missing back in the 1980s. And showing missing children on the side of milk cartons was a popular practice until the late 1990s. So obviously a huge miss from Snooki. 